yo <laughs> i tried ordering americana she was like we don't have that is Hermesiano. Oh, oh, you just can't get gosh. into it because they would never understand Hello everyone, my name is Felaine and welcome to my channel Flame Speaks and this video is going to be part of my language journey and honestly I just want to know am I the only am I the only one who be getting these pronunciation wrongs with certain words and letters and a language that you're learning and right now I'm talking about Korean um what I have learned do not do not do not learn romanization first before you actually master learning the letters like the alphabet in korean you know hango please don't do it don't do it to yourself you're gonna be wasting time you're gonna be causing confusion mass confusion to yourself and then you're gonna end up being angry with yourself so just don't do it don't do it okay um so i was i i felt like i was like the only one who's getting some of these words wrong you know i just like recently found out it's not macne it's magne because of pronunciation with certain letters in the alphabet and yeah so also have to understand that certain letters or like characters are aspirated i could have saved myself a whole bunch of time and energy and stuff if i wasn't getting it wrong but i was so am i am i the only one who thought the drink was americano though because i had a couple moments when she like a and i was like i never heard this before and then i was like am i wrong because of what i have like learned over the years and heard and on top of that even watching korean dramas when they order their caffeinated jeans they be like americana 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 and i'm like hey you guys say in english too and i thought that's how you say it i think i'm right though i think i'm right and moral to the story is if you're learning Korean, stick to learning Hangul. Stick to trying to learn the letters and the pronunciation and how to write it, okay? Do not look at romanization. Please don't don't do it to yourself. It's good it causes a lot of confusion. And you don't need to be wasting your time like that. How far have I gotten on my language journey with Korean? Um I I'm mastering the Korean alphabet. It's actually not that hard. I just confuse certain letters. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But we're moving on from that. Um, but I'm actually to the point where I mastered like I mastered most of the letters and everything. Now I just need more of a huge vocabulary. I actually can know which word is this like you know related to the subject so that's how far i am and yes i practice it every day not like 30 minutes and to an hour like i'm supposed to and stuff but i do it every day um i'm lucky if it's 10 minutes but yes i master mastering the alphabet right now what else am i mastering trying to learn transportation terms Food, drinks, ups, 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 and I love it. Okay, um, that's only that keeps me super motivated to use it every single day. And I'm gonna end the video now. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of how far I've gotten on my language journey with Korean. What are some of your struggles with learning Korean or what are some of your language journey failures that you have encountered? And thank you for watching my video. I hope that it was kind of informative, kind of funny anyway. And I hope it was relatable. So yes, please like, comment, subscribe, and answer the question. <laughs>